In this video we will see how to do transfers over SSL using TLS v1.1, TLS v1.2 and backward compatibility with SSL v3. First, let us take a look at the enhancements made in SP01 with respect to SSL. In SP01, XCOM supports TLS v1.1 and TLS v1.2 which is an upgrade from TLS v1. XCOM is backward compatible with previous versions of SSL which are SSL v3 and TLS v1. Even though XCOM supports SSL v3, it is not recommended to use v3 because of the vulnerabilities in the protocol. FIPS mode can be enabled for cipher suits which are FIPS compliant. We will be using three machines for the purpose of this demo. A Windows machine with XCOM SP01 installed on it, a Linux machine with XCOM SP01 installed on it, and an AIX machine with XCOM SP00. Now let us do a transfer over TLS v1.2. We will be doing a transfer from Linux to Windows machine. In order to do that transfer, we need to modify configssl.cnf. Let us open configssl.cnf. Since this system is going to receive the transfer, under SSL underscore method, we need to modify the receive underscore side to TLS v1.2. We also need to modify the configssl.cnf on Linux machine. Let us do the same. Since this system is going to initiate the transfer, we need to change initiate underscore site under SSL underscore method to TLS v1.2. Now we can issue the transfer. Let us do a transfer to the Windows machine using command line. For a SSL transfer, we need to use the parameter secure underscore socket is equals to yes, and we need to use the port 8045. The transfer has ended successfully. Let us check the details of the transfer. XCOM underscore show underscore cipher is set to yes in XCOM.glb. That's why we can see the negotiated cipher. Let us now open XCOM.log to check the details of the transfer. This message tells that the transfer has successfully completed over SSL. Now we will check the status of the transfer on the Windows machine. Let us check the details of the transfer. The transfer is completed successfully. Let us open xcom.log. We see that the partner had requested a secure TCP IP connection and the transfer is completed successfully. Now let us check the backward compatibility with SSL v3 protocol. For that, we will issue a transfer from AIX on SP00 to Linux on SP01. Please note that AIX has been set up using the same root certificates which we used on Windows and Linux machines. We are on the AIX system with version 7.1. Let us check the XCOM version on this machine. The XCOM is at service pack 00. Since we have to reissue a transfer from this machine, we need to change the protocol to v3 in configssl.cnf on the initiate site. Let us go to ssl underscore method and change the initiate site to v3. It is already v3. Similarly, we have to make sure that the receiving end, which is the Linux machine, is also having v3 on the receive side. 
we are at the Linux machine. Let us check configuresl.cnf. Receives ID is already v3, but we will try the option all in this place. This option helps to receive connections from all compatible protocols. Let us switch back to AX machine and issue the transfer. We are back to the AX machine. We will now issue the transfer. We know that for an SSL transfer, secure underscore socket needs to be S. And port should be 8045. The transfer has ended successfully. Let us check the transfer details. The transfer is successful. Let us check the entries in the xcom.log. This message indicates that it is an SSL transfer. Handshake is complete by this time and the transfer has ended successfully. Let us now check the status on the receiving end which is the Linux machine. The last transfer in the queue is the transfer which we did and we can see the details. It indicates that the transfer is completed successfully. Let us verify the same in xcom.log. We can see that the remote partner, which was AAX, requested a connection over TCP IP under secure mode. The transfer is completed successfully in secure mode. In this video, we learned how to do transfers over SSL using various protocols. Thank you for watching this video.